How far did you go in school? I'm an attorney. You're an attorney? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, I've been hearing voices telling me to kill myself and to kill other, other people. When did that start? I have a gun at my parents' house right now. This video shows what happens when a person struggling with bipolar disorder and schizophrenia succumbs to the voices inside their head. On February 22nd, 2022, a 911 call was placed by someone who had just witnessed a car deliberately slam into a group of people. The caller then followed the vehicle while describing it to the 911 dispatcher, making it easier for a nearby officer to intercept. The driver appeared to flee, but after a short chase, they pulled into the parking lot of the police station and exited the car, where they were taken into custody. The suspect turned out to be Beatrice Bijou, an attorney diagnosed with bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. Bijou abruptly told the officer that she had intended to kill the group of people with her car and she was taken in for questioning. I got diagnosed with bipolar and schizophrenia. Okay. When was that? 2019. Okay. And it ruined my life. What are my charges? Uh, probably four counts of aggravated battery and uh, another count of aggravated assault. I attempted to murder that woman. Well, confer with the state attorney and they don't want to charge attempted murder right now. But if you're adamant, you know, you can always explain that to your defense attorney, but I'm sure they're willing to. No, I want the attempted murder charge. You want the attempted murder charge? Yeah. Well. Because I tried to kill her and I would like to walk out of here right now. The two don't go hand in hand, okay? What? You can't try to kill people and then just walk free. We fed you lunch. I can try and kill you. That's not going to go well. Yes, it, it will go well. Sit down. No, I'm not going to sit down. I'm not playing I'm not going to sit down. I'm not playing Have games either. All right. No. I don't want to hurt you. I'm going to kill as many people as I can. That's not going to happen. Okay? Listen, Beatrice, please sit down. We're no. being very nice to you. We're being very nice to you. Tell you no what? one wants to hurt you. If we charge you with the attempted murder, would you sit down? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Then sit down. Okay. All okay. Right. Thank Take you. Take care of it. We'll change, we'll change the charge. Can I get water? Hello? Okay. Can we get a bottle of water? Okay. You want water, Diet Coke, Sprite? Water. Water? All right. Just give me a second. We'll go get it for you. Okay. Okay. Hey there. Hi. I got a water here for you. I'm going to loosen those handcuffs up a little bit and get you a little bit more comfortable. How does that sound? Sounds good. All right. Okay. Good. Good. So what's your name? Beatrice Bijou. How do you say that last name? Bijou. Bijou? Yes. Okay. Right. So let's go ahead and stick your hands. I'm just going to put these on so that they're in front of you. Okay. Just for your safety and my safety. So. You want to have a seat right there? Yeah. All right. Beatrice, my name's George, and I'm one of the people that's just trying to figure out what happened today. All right? Um, before we get started, um, I do have to read Miranda warning because you're sitting here in the police station. Can I and, drink yeah, water? please, by all means. Um, and, and it's just part of our rules that we have to abide by that. When I have a person sitting here in handcuffs and I want to talk to them and find out what happened, I have to read this and, and we'll go from there, okay? Okay. All right, so we are at the Stewart Police Department. Can I have my phone so I can delete my social media? Well, why don't, why don't we talk about that in a second, okay? Okay. All right. Um... This date is. Bijou is calm and reasonable when she enters the room and interacts with a detective. She asks to delete her social media. This is a bizarre request. Anything on her phone and online is a potential source of evidence. As an attorney, she knows this. Serna takes a sip of water, replaces the cap, and then without a pause, he removes the gun from his pants and raises it to his left temple. There is no hesitation.
right. So these are your Miranda rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before you act. We ask you any questions and to have him with you during questioning. If you do not afford a lawyer, we will be appointed for you before any question, if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you still have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand what I wrote to you? Yes. Okay. Um, you go ahead and use some right there. All right. Perfect. All right. Um, so I've been told a little bit about what's going on, but um, I, I got some some basic questions before we get into what happened. Um, have Have you had anything to eat today? I ate an apple. Okay, you had an apple earlier? What time was that? Was it like morning or afternoon? Morning. Okay. Um, your driver's license says you live down in Boca. Did you drive all the way up here today? No. Okay, where, do you, where did you drive from today? I live in Stewart. Okay, where in Stewart do you? On Beach Road, Stewart, Florida, 34994. Okay. Um, how far did you go in school? I'm an attorney. You're an attorney? Mm hmm Okay. Um, where do you practice? I have my own law firm. Okay. Um, where is that? In Fort Lauderdale. The office is located in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Well, the... We've, we've had a, a big day today. Um, one, one of the things that, that worried me is someone said that you heard voices. What, what, can you tell me about that? Yeah, I've been hearing voices telling me to kill myself and to kill other, other people. When did that start? I have a gun at my parents' house right now. Okay. And Where my brother took it away. Okay. He put it in a safe. Okay. I've been trying to kill myself for quite some time. I moved to Texas uh -huh. and I tried to kill myself in Texas and it didn't work. I tried to shoot myself and the gun didn't go off. Okay. And then I tried to do it again. How long ago was that? Last year. Okay. Around April 2021. Okay, so last year in April, you were in Texas. Is, is, is that the first time you tried to kill yourself? I got diagnosed with bipolar and schizophrenia. Okay. When was that diagnosis? 2019. Okay. And it ruined my life. Okay. I've been in and out of mental institutions. Uh -huh. I think this is the last year was the fourth one and they locked me up for an extended period of time. Do you have a physician you see on a regular basis? And who's that? A Kenyeme Abo, 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 Abo. It's a, and he's Nigerian. I, I know he's Nigerian. He's Nigerian. Akinyemi, Dr. Akinyemi. And where does he practice? He practices in Stewart. Okay. Is he a, a psychologist? Or he's a, a psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. And how long have you been seeing him? I've been seeing him for six months, I think. Okay. No, no, not six months. Four months. Four months. Okay. Is he prescribing any medication? Yes. What does he prescribe? He prescribes me Zebracidone, which is Geodon, mm -hmm. and Oxycarbazepine, which is Trileptol. Okay. Bijou has been diagnosed with multiple mental illnesses, and you can hear in her voice how much of a toll it has taken on her. She hears voices telling her to kill herself and others, which needs to be taken seriously. Oxycarbazepine, the trileptol is for the bipolar disorder, 
and the geodon ciprocidone is for the schizophrenia. Okay. Uh, how long have you been taking that medication? four months. Okay. Has it been working for you? No. When was the last time you talked to your doctor? December. Okay. And do, do you know what the date is today? Today is February 22nd. Okay, 100% right. Um, have you told the doctor you didn't think the medication was working well enough? as you're supposed to? No. No? No. When was the last time you took medication? This morning. Okay. What about before that? Before that? hear my question? Has it been more than a week after today? Since today? I don't know. Don't know. Okay. Let's talk about today. What, what, what time did you get up this morning? This morning I got up at 5 a.m. Okay. Is that normal? Mm -hmm. I get up at 5 a.m. every morning. Okay. Um, did you go to work at all? Kids? No, I don't have any children. Okay. Um, where do you live? Palm Beach Road. Okay. So 434994. Perfect. I just forgot. I know. Right over there. Okay. What um, what did you do when you got up? When I got up, I went to go take a shower and brush my teeth. Okay. And then what happened? And then I sat in my bed and I just. I just laid in my bed after that. Okay. And what were you thinking about when you were lying in your bed? To hurt myself and to hurt others. Is that a normal thought for you? Where did that just start today? I hear voices. Okay, what do the voices usually tell you? To kill myself. And is that what the voices usually say? Did they tell you anything else? They 
you tell me all their stuff to, to hurt others? And how long has that been going on? Since I got diagnosed with schizophrenia and bipolar. Okay. Since 2019. Did. The voices have been an issue for several years. And surprisingly, it took this long for the situation to escalate. A factor in this case is Bijou's inconsistency with taking her medication. Many patients diagnosed with bipolar disorder or schizophrenia often struggle to take their meds appropriately. So they've been telling you to hurt others for since 2019. Have you ever hurt anybody before? No. No? Today was the first day? Today was the first day. Okay. But they've told you to hurt people before. Why was today different? I just lost it. Did something trigger you? Can I speak to a lawyer? You have the right to speak to an attorney. Okay. We'll end it for now. Do you have an attorney in mind that you would like to call? Hmm? Do you have an attorney in mind that you would like to call? No. Okay. If you change your mind, you can always talk to me again, okay? Just going to need you to sit tight for a little while. Talking. You want to keep talking? Yeah. Okay. You you requested an attorney. Are you waiving that right again? You, you, you invoke the right to an attorney. I just want to be very clear that you're waiving your I right. I just lost it today. Okay. Is there something that happened? I'm going to turn this back on. I'm going to turn it back on because you're requesting to talk to me. Okay? Is that fair? This is George McClain. President is Beatrice Beju. Did someone die today? Um, I will tell you three people got hit by your car. Uh, and one of them is going up to Longwood for treatment. I don't know what their status is. Um, and I'm really sorry. I believe you. Um, I believe you. Um, I think you're a good person that has some bad things going on, and I'd like to get you some help. Um, because you requested an attorney, and then you said you don't want an attorney, I'm just going to pretend like I didn't read this, I'm going to read it to you again. Okay. okay. All right. You have the right to remain silent. I, you understand that, right? Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and to have him with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before any question if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer... Can I have a lawyer with me present right now? If, if that's what you want, if you want a lawyer, you can get a lawyer. But if you're stating you don't want to answer any more questions without a lawyer, that needs to be made clear to me. Because that's, I ended the interview, and then you said you wanted to talk to me again. So I need to understand, are you okay with talking to me, or do you want a lawyer here?
Where are they going to take me after this? I'm not sure what's going to happen next. Bijou struggles to focus, and her decision-making process seems to be impaired. This behavior is typical of people who hear voices. Sometimes they are so distracted and overwhelmed by the voices that they are unable to pay attention to anything else. I'm, I'm really not sure, okay? I want to take my own life right now. Oh, that's not good. And I would like to talk to you. Um, but like I said, when you... Can I speak to a doctor? We're probably going to get you a doctor to talk to, um, at, at least to start with. Um, but as far as Miranda goes, and my knowledge of the law, you're not entitled to speak to a doctor now. You are entitled to a lawyer, if that's what you would like. I'm willing to talk to you, and it will help us determine. I'm afraid. What are you afraid of? I don't know. I'm just afraid right now. Okay. I'm going to read this last sentence again. Okay. I want you to listen to what I'm what I'm saying. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer, you can still have the right to stop at any time. Do you understand that? Okay. So you can say stop. I want my lawyer. I don't want to answer anymore. You also have the right to stop answering any time until you talk to a lawyer. So what I'm saying is. If you'd like to continue talking with me, I'm willing to listen to you. I also have questions I'd like to ask you. If you do not want to talk to me, if you want your lawyer present, I'm not going to ask you any more questions, and I'm not going, I'm not going to talk to you because I don't want to violate your rights. Okay? So, what are we going to do? you want to talk a little bit more? Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just okay. a little bit. Whenever you don't want to talk, just tell me, okay? Okay. All right. So you, you said a couple things while we were trying to read this that you're scared right now. Is that a normal feeling for you? Okay. Is there something specifically that scared you today before you hit people with your car? Tell you what, let's not talk about that, okay? You told me that you wanted your phone to delete stuff off social media. What's what's on your social media that you're worried about people seeing? My accounts. I don't want people seeing my accounts open. I just want to delete them. Why? Because this is embarrassing. Did you did you put something on there? Did no. you videotape hitting people? No. Okay. Is there any indicators on there that this is going to happen today? No. Okay. Then I I guess I don't understand what's, what would be embarrassing. I intentionally tried to hit those people because of voices in my head telling me to do it. Okay. I intentionally tried to hit people because I heard voices in my head telling me to kill myself and to kill people. What do those voices sound like? To that. Okay. Um, is it the same voice? I don't want to answer that. Okay. Um, you don't want to talk about the voice at all with me? Okay. It's too demonic. Demonic? Okay. Um, did something happen today when you were sitting in your car that got you upset? My car got me 
upset. What Bijou is trying to articulate about deleting her social media is that she is afraid people will see her name in the news and harass her online. Even if there's nothing incriminating on her accounts, it can be challenging to deal with the amount of hate she could receive. Bijou is also reluctant to talk about the voices. Other people who have experienced this symptom say that the voices will tell them not to talk about it. The detective recognizes that this is only agitating her and backs off. The fact that I have bipolar and schizophrenia has been haunting me for a long time. Okay. I don't want to accept that I have it. Okay. Well, it's it, hard to accept that I'm under that diagnosis. Okay. I guess. And it makes me angry. Okay. Fair enough. Um, but what I what I don't understand is today is not the first day that that you've been told this. But it's not the first day you've had access to your medication. Your medication didn't get changed or anything like that. So what? I, I said to, today is not the first day that you found out, right? We go back to 2019 with this. So I, I guess what I'm looking for is what what happened today. On 222, that that said today's day I want to hurt people. I'm just I'm very angry right now. Okay. Are you angry at anything in particular? My, my mental state. Okay. I don't want to feel like this. I'm tired of feeling like this. Okay. Do you, so, when you take when your... I, when I wanted my gun this morning, and I couldn't have it because my brother has it in a safe. Okay. Who's your brother? Patrick Espity. Okay, where does he live? He lives with us. Okay, same house every trip? Mm hmm Okay. Who else lives in that house with you? My mom. Okay. My dad. Okay. My sister sometimes and her little baby. Okay. Do they all know you see a doctor? Yeah. How long have you had to come? Bought it in Texas okay. since Texas. Okay. So before 2019? Yeah. No. No. 2021. I've had the gun since 2021 living in Texas. Okay. Um, Can I go to the restroom? Um, I'm going to need a female officer if you, if you don't mind waiting for just a minute. You can make that happen, all right? Okay. All right. Sit tight for a second. The detective is trying to figure out what triggered this event. While that information is important, it is possible the pressure within Bijou may have built up over time until it overtook her completely, without needing something specific to set things in motion. Okay. Be 
I got us both waters. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Good call. Okay. When was the last time you talked to him? Last night. Okay. Is everything good with him? Yeah. How long has he been your boyfriend? He's my fiance. Okay. When did you guys get engaged? We got engaged. I don't want to talk about him. Okay. Is, is there something wrong? Between him and I? Yeah. I'm listening. I'm just multitasking. There's nothing wrong between me and him. Okay. Well, that's good. So that's not the problem today? No. Okay. Is there something else that's on your mind? I don't want to kill myself. Yeah, we, we covered that, but you've wanted to do that for three plus years, so... When did you graduate law school? I graduated in 2016. Where'd you go? Nova Southeastern University. No, is that home? Mm -hmm. Somebody else I want to know. What type of law do you practice? Personal injury. Okay. Do you like that type of practice? Text or call anybody and tell me you're having a hard time today? No? Is there someone you can normally reach out to or talk about these things? The questioning is going slowly because most of the time, Bijou is unwilling or unable to speak. When she does respond, it isn't always related to the question, and she appears almost as if she has to push the words out before she shuts down again. My mental health issues? Or just when you're having a bad day? I would like a, an attorney. You want to talk to an attorney? Yeah. Okay. Is an attorney going to come here? Probably. If there's an attorney you want me to call, I can try, but it's going to be up to them.
And we're going to continue the interrogation with the attorney? I don't... Okay, so you have a right to an attorney, and I'm not going to ask you any more questions. I don't know how soon your attorney, if there's an attorney you want to be here, will get here. She may... Well, I mean, very well could happen as the attorney said, okay, I'll represent her. I'm not going to be able to be there today. Don't ask her any more questions. Okay. And then Where we'll, am I going to go tonight? Well, I'm going to confer with my other people, and we're going to talk about that. I, I don't have a straight answer for you, okay? Um, from, from a legal standpoint, you hurt some people today. You meant to hurt them today. So that's a crime. From a mental health standpoint, you're telling me that um, you're under a psychiatrist's care and that you have issues um, and that voices were telling you to do things. So I have to balance out um, things like, did you mean to do it and you know you were breaking the law? You're an attorney, so I know you understand that, right? I understand what? What I just said. What did you just say? That you asked me where you're going tonight, okay? Um, and I have to balance out what happened today, the fact that you told me you meant to do it, which constitutes a crime. However, the defense for a crime is, could be your mental health. And I have to figure out if your mental health is a priority or if the criminal action is a priority. What if I want to kill myself? Well, there's, there's places you can go for that. Okay? Uh, the, the jail does have places to, to hold people that are suicide risk. Am I going to get food? You always get food. Okay, no matter where. I'm hungry right now. Okay, no matter where I take you, I'm going to get you some food, okay? Okay. All right, sit tight. If there's an attorney you want me to specify. Is there something that I can eat right now? Let me see what I can do for you, okay? okay. I, don't, I don't know what we have laying around. Let me see, is, do you have a preference on something? No, just food? Okay, apple's not holding you over. Right? Yes. No, yes. The apple I eat? Yeah. No, it's... It's gone. All right, let me see what I can do for you, okay? All right, sit tight. Can I call my boyfriend? My fiance? Um, do you know his phone number is? You don't know his phone number? It's in my phone. Where are your phones? In my bag, in my red bag. Okay, can I go in there and, and do you have two phones in there? Which phone do you want me to get? The skinnier one. The skinnier one? Yeah. All right, so play. Um, sir? Yeah. What are my charges? Uh, probably four counts of aggravated battery and uh, another count of aggravated assault. Okay. okay. I attempted to murder that woman. Well, confer with the state attorney and they don't want to charge attempted murder right now. But if you're adamant, you know, you can always explain that to your defense attorney, but I'm sure they're willing to. No, I want the attempted murder charge. You want the attempted murder charge? Yeah. Well, you'll have an opportunity for first appearance, and you can explain that to the judge. Okay. All right? All right.
because I tried to kill her. We have, we have, we are documenting. And I would like to walk out of here right now. Well, the the two don't go hand in hand. Okay. What? You can't try to kill people and then just walk free. So, we fed you lunch. I can try and kill you. That's not going to go well. Yes, it, it will go well. Yeah. No, I'm not going to sit down. I'm not playing I'm not going to sit down. I'm not playing games seat. either. All right. No. I don't want to hurt you. I'm going to kill as many people as I can. That's not going to happen. Okay? Listen, Beatrice. Beatrice, please sit down. We're no. being very nice to you. We're being very nice to you. Tell you no what, one wants to hurt you. If we charge you with the attempted murder, would you sit down? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Then sit down. Okay. All okay. Right. Thank we'll you. Take care of it. We'll change. We'll change the charge. No. How many counts do you want, Beatrice? I don't know what that means. Do you want one? Do you want to be charged one time, four times, five? How many do you want? Three times. You can make that For every person that was hit. Then it'll be probably four. There are four people that mm -hmm. were hit. Yes. So do you want four? Four. Sounds good. You can do that. Do this. Yeah, I tried to kill those people. Okay. If that's what you want, that's what we can do. There are four people that were hit? Mm -hmm. I think so. We'll find out how many and we'll charge you for each one, okay? Bijou demanded that she be charged with four counts of intended murder. It is difficult to determine if this is because of her mental illness, remorse, or a mix of both. Give Lieutenant a light. There you go. Have a May want to talk again. Okay. What's on your mind? I want to tell you more about the Baker Axe. Okay. Well, here's the deal. You know how this goes. So. so Lieutenant McLean, we are speaking again. Time is now 4.32 in the evening, afternoon. You still have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used to you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and have them with you during question. If you're not a formal lawyer, we'll be appointed for you before any question if you wish. You decide to answer questions now without a lawyer. You know what? I'll get a lawyer. I'll get a lawyer. Okay. Sorry. Not, not a problem. Sitting here and hanging out. Okay. okay. All right. Sorry, I'm just nervous. It's okay. You're allowed to be nervous. You've had a uh, a long day. What do you like to do for fun? I like to travel. 
you know, you've yeah. been there in quite school. Yeah, I've been to um, France, Italy, Spain, the United Kingdom, all around the Caribbean. Nice. I did. I've been to the UK. I've been pretty much just in London. Um, I did South Africa, uh, the Cape Town, uh, Waziland, Zimbabwe. Been to Mexico and all through the Caribbean a bunch of times. Yeah, I like to do that too. It's fun. You get to see different parts of the world and see how people live. I love talking to people. Do you speak other languages? What do you speak? Haitian Creole. I'm Haitian. Okay. Yeah. Did you live there? No. No, just family? Yeah. Okay. Were you born here in Florida? I was born, born and raised okay. in Florida. Local? Hmm? In, in Stewart? Yeah, born and raised in Stewart right here. Okay. Palm Beach Road. So did you go to Martin County? No, I went to Jensen Beach High School. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, forget about that. <laughs> who, was, uh, who was the principal then? I don't, I don't remember. FIU, Florida International University in Miami. And then you went to NOVA? Yeah, for law school. Very good. Very good. That's quite the accomplishment. Thank you. So when did you get engaged? I don't want to talk about it. Okay. We're just making a conversation that doesn't have to do with today. Recently. Okay. Had you guys meet? Or if you don't want to talk about that, that's fine too. I'm just making conversation. It has nothing to do with today. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Fair enough. Will I have access to my phone numbers in jail? Not your actual phone numbers. Are there numbers you want to write down? Yeah. Okay. The same phone or the other phone? The same phone. Actually, both. Oh, okay. Yeah. So making sure these are the same numbers. T O S A. T A S S A. Okay. And that's all. 
on this one. Yeah, and toss it. And that's all. And that one. And this one. Actually, I don't I don't need that one anymore. <laughs> and I'll be able to take those with me? No, these are staying with us. These numbers? Yeah, I'm, these you shouldn't have. And I'll be able to take that into the jail? The paper? Mm -hmm. I think so. I okay. think that you, you can tell them you want to keep those phone numbers and they should be able to help you out. Okay. I'm going to make this as small as possible for you. Okay, I'm ready to talk again. You want to talk again? Mm -hmm. okay. I think one of the phones are on. They're both. They're both off right now. Are you sure? They're not. They're it's not like powered that. off, but they're they're. It may have been my phone charging. No, I think you called someone from my phone. Okay. Can you check? Yeah, happy to check. That one was not heavy. I think I'm going. Oh, am I called the wrong? I just had that, that one. Does not have anything going. Okay. All right. Are you the green George? Any what? No, they're both in airplane mode. Okay. All right. The time is now 4:42. Reviewing your Miranda rights, you have the right to make time. Anything you say can be used to get you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and to have him with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, we will be appointed for you before any question if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you still have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering any time until you talk to a lawyer. You understand what I, what I said? Yes. Okay. Although Bijou attempts to go back to the earlier charges, the police aren't going to grant her request. The paperwork has already been set in motion, and in her current mental state, it is almost guaranteed she could continue to go back and forth for hours. Can I get more water? Do we have another water somewhere? I can make one happen, yeah. Thank you. Lieutenant McClam going back on the air. The time is now 4.23 on February 22nd. Um, you're you still are. under your Miranda warning. I want to read it again. Uh, you've indicated that you wish to speak with me again. Before we ask Only you. on the condition that you take off the murder charges. I'm not taking off murder charges. Uh, I, I told you, you insisted to put those on. I have detectives that had to stop what they were doing, restart what they were doing, and it's going to cause more delay. I wasn't in my right mind. Okay, that's something for the courts to figure out. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. You're not going to get everything you want today. If Bijou is accurate, it doesn't sound like she has exhibited violent behavior before. It is unclear why her mental state has worsened over time but changes may be needed in her treatment. Okay. Okay. So, are we, are we done? Okay. We're not done speaking. I thought you said we were done. No, we're not done speaking. Okay, then we'll do this again. All right, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and to have them with you during any question. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before any question if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you still have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to a lawyer. Understand what I read to you? Yes. Okay. The reason I'm reading that to you again is because you had previously indicated you wish to speak with me again. 
So that is why we're doing it. Every time that you say you want a lawyer, I stop the questioning. In order for me to start the question again, it's only after you wish to talk to me and after I read that, so you understand that, mm -hmm. correct? Okay. What is it I can talk to you about today? My bipolar and schizophrenia. Okay. What is it you want to talk about? It's a condition that I have. I, I understand that. Um, and you've had it for since 2019 when you were diagnosed? Yes. Okay, where were, where were you when that was diagnosed? I was... Where was I? I think I was in Boca Raton. Okay. It got diagnosed in Fort Pierce, though. Is that after you were Baker acted? Yes. Okay. That was by the through the Port St. Lucie Police Department. No. What did the, the Port? You had an incident with Port St. Lucie Police Department, correct? I did. How do you know that? Because that's my job. So what I'm trying to do is establish what you know about or what your past experience has been. That's what I'm trying to understand. Okay? Um, I'm trying to find out if there is commonality in the things that are making you upset. Or if it's just totally random. There's no way to control and there's no way to predict. Do you, do you want to share with me what happened? Because I don't know everything. In poor St. Lucie? With any of it. How many times have you been Baker acted besides that time? Four times. You've been Baker acted four times? What other places, where where else were you Baker acted? In Texas. Okay. Twice. Is that after you tried to kill yourself? No. No? Did you get Baker acted after that? Mm, I don't know. Okay. What happened in Texas? So, I was hearing voices, okay. and I started praying like this, running around my building and praying like this, mm -hmm. and just running around my building and praying very loudly. Okay. And you got big right for that? Yeah. And there was a second time? Yes. What was that? That was when... I think I left my building and I went to I can't remember but there was a second time I was Baker acted twice in Texas in any of these Baker acts did you try to hurt people no okay did you try to hurt yourself and it was a reason for the Baker act I don't think so. Okay. Does it sound like we Psychosis. Okay. So you just weren't in your right mind and that was the reason for a, a mental health evaluation? Yes. Okay. Um, so that's two times in Texas and then I'm going to assume two times in Florida? I think it's three times in Florida. Okay. What's on your mind? Um, a lot. Yeah, well, I'm here to listen. Give me some privacy. What's on your mind? Um, I only tried to kill those people because I heard voices in my head telling me to do so. Okay. And we've been dealing with those voices for a while, right? Yes. Okay. When you take your medication, does it help control that?
And this is something the judge is going to want to know, the doctors are going to want to know, because if the medication you're given isn't working, they need to figure out how to, what they can use so that you can function normally. I don't feel comfortable answering that question. Okay. Okay. Is it fair to say that medication did its job for three years? I've been off my medication for months at a time. Okay. Have you had any episodes other than today when you're off your meds? I've gotten Baker acted again. That's what happens when you go off your meds? Yes. Okay. You see a pattern? The meds seem like they're working. You go off and you get Baker acted. Yeah. Is that fair? Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you think we can do to keep it so that you're not going off your meds? Is there a reason you go off your meds? Health insurance and the doctors. The health insurance? Really? Mm-hmm. It's a Well, maybe as a result of all this happening, we can have some good come of it and get some meds that don't have to necessarily go through your insurance. I don't know. I, I, this isn't my specialty. So, uh, but maybe the state of Florida can pitch in and help you get the right meds. Okay. All right. Um, sometimes it takes something bad for people to move through to get to someplace good. Like I told you before, I don't think you're a bad person. I think you're dealing with a bad problem. Mental health is no joke. And The detective has done a great job of handling the interview. Although her decisions change erratically, he hasn't berated or talked down to her. He's tried to make this process as easy for her as possible and has managed to de-escalate the situation several times when her control has slipped. The lawyer, she killed herself. Which lawyer? Chesley Christ. Yeah. She jumped off the building and she just ended it all. When was you this? Have something right here. Yeah, on your eyebrow. When was this? This was a week ago, last week. Did this start up some feelings for you? Hopelessness. Yeah. How did you know her? I followed her on Instagram. Okay. She's a lawyer just like me. Where did she practice? She was on Extra TV. Okay. And she didn't practice law anymore. She went into Hollywood. Okay. And she lost it and she jumped off a building and fell to her death. Did you see this on TV? It's so all over the news. Did it happen recently? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So did, did seeing that fact that another attorney decided to take her own life get you thinking about this type of thing? You know? A little bit. When, where did the hurting other people come into it? The voices. Yeah. The voices told me to do something to my little niece this morning. Did you? Mm-mm. Okay. I didn't touch her. Good. Well, you have control over it. To keep control over it. And I don't. I don't know what all the answers are. This is, you know, I'm. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a psychiatrist. So I don't know what all the answers are. But those are the people that can help you at least get to some semblance of normalcy. You know. Yeah, I thought about killing my little niece. You know. How are you going to do that? I don't want to talk about it. Okay. We don't have to talk about that. Most likely by drowning. Yeah. Do you 
you guys have a pool? No. No, I would have had to take her somewhere. How old is your niece? She's only four years old. But I hear constant. Constant voices telling you to do something. You know. The fear of harming her niece could have been what set Bijou off. Eventually, all of that internal conflict has to come out somewhere, and the only thing Bijou could do was redirect it. Well, that's, that's pretty sad. Did something ever happen to you? When I was little. What happened? A lot. Okay. A lot of trauma. Have you ever dealt with those things? No. No. Maybe moving forward, that's something you should try to work out. Because if you can't treat yourself right, you're definitely not going to treat other people right. She won't ever hear that, right? No. I'm wondering if they correct paperwork that said you were suffering from PTSD. What's that about? PTSD? Mm -hmm. How did you get that? It's a court document, which is a public record. It's a secret. Do you want to tell me your secret? It's bad. People don't get PTSD from good things. A lot of good people. PTSD is a normal person's reaction to an abnormal situation. There are things we're not supposed to see. There's things that we're not supposed to go through. And there's things that our body or mind just doesn't have a process. And that's when people get certain mental health issues, post-traumatic stress disorder, post-traumatic stress. And it doesn't mean you're a bad person, it means something bad happened to you. It's, it's too much okay. to talk about. It's too much, it's we, too evil. We don't have to talk about it. Okay. okay. Have happened to you. I got engaged. That's awesome. What else? Got engaged. Graduated law school. Graduated college. College. That makes you a pretty amazing person. All those things right there. What else? What else? Come on. There's always something. You've traveled. You've seen part of the world. That was half the times, right? Okay. Yeah, I got to travel. And you know what? When you get through this, and this is on the other side, and you work out your own stuff, then you can hopefully see the rest of the world. Because there's a lot more to it than just Europe. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. where, where else do you want to go? I want to go to Africa. Yeah. Asia. Yeah. Thailand. Yeah. Thailand. Bijou reacts badly when her mental illness is discussed for too long, and the detective changes the subject until she feels comfortable again. It is a drawn out process, but it is the best approach in this situation. I want to go to Australia. I like to go to 
Crash Polynesia, Tahiti, World War, stuff like that. Uh, See the crystal clear water? No, mm -hmm. I love the water. Uh, I want to do the national parks in, in the United States. I want to see all the national parks. Yosemite? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do the Smoky Mountains. And I do. How was that? It's nice. It was a good time. Um, very peaceful. We had a cabin up there and stuff like that for vacation. and got to see that. It was spring break, but it started snowing. It got so cold. <laughs> oh. uh, did part of the Grand Canyon when I was about that tall, so I wanted to go back and see it when I can remember it. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so, there's got to have goals. That's what you need to do. You need to set yourself some goals. You know, work through some things, treat yourself to something. Work through some more things, treat yourself to something. The more you talk about it, the easier it's going to be for you. Don't have to talk about it with me. I'm not asking you to. But you got to talk about it for you with somebody. The trauma? Whatever's, whatever's going on out there. Okay. Okay. Can you promise me that? All right. Is your niece your, your sister's job? That they don't live with you, or they do sometimes? They do sometimes. They live there sometimes. What's your sister do? Is she as smart as you? She's a waitress. Yeah. Where she work? She works at Hooters. Okay. Down in Palm Beach? No. She works at Hooters, and I think Bard and Pembroke Pines, I think. That's a long drive from here. Yeah. Please don't tell my sister that I wanted to do that to her baby. I'm not talking to your sister. Okay. This is you and me talking. Okay. She would not look at me the right way. Probably not understand. But like I said, you're not making very thought out decisions right now. Yeah. We need to get you some help. I don't think I would ever do anything to her. Yeah, I'm afraid that I'm gonna lose my fiance over this. He won't want to talk to me. Why is that? He'll think I'm crazy. The fear Bijou expressed isn't unfounded. Many relationships struggle or fail when one person develops a mental illness. On the other hand, with the growing awareness and understanding of these illnesses, people are learning how to maintain those relationships and be supportive of their loved ones. The uncertainty of which category her fiancé will fall into adds extra stress that she can't handle. Can I put his number down? Sure. Okay. Which one? This one. The small one? Mm-hmm. His name's Kyle. What's the code again? Five three two one four six. Kyle Robert Luce. Nine? That's a nine? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, uh, would you be willing to voluntarily uh, give a sample of blood? Yes? Yes. Okay. They're going to take it here? I don't know. See if they will. I'll have a paramedic come over and see if they can take a sample. I 
Actually, no, I don't want to do it. Yeah. Can I bother you one more time? Sure. this open That's why I said okay. Um Excuse me. Yes, Are we almost done? It is evident that further questioning isn't going to get many results, so they prepare to transfer Bijou to the jail, where she will be placed under suicide watch. And then what? Then you get transferred to the jail. Okay. Four people were struck by Bijou's car, with one of them sustaining life-threatening injuries. Beatrice Bijou was charged with four counts of attempted murder. She has since been disbarred after the state Supreme Court granted the Florida Bar's emergency request to suspend her. She is currently being held without bond after pleading not guilty to one count of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, one count of high speed or wanton fleeing, and four counts of attempted murder. Thanks again for tuning in. Drop a like if you like this video. And check out my Patreon page if you want to support the channel even more. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.